Hydra changes are killing the game. Now we've talked about this, but I'm still getting people asking me my opinions on everybody uh, leaving the game and uh, the Hydra changes and everything. So I'm just gonna, you know, continue to make videos about it, talking about it more. And for anybody who hasn't been following or just, you know, wants to know what the sum of the nerfs are, um, there's a lot of changes, so I don't blame you for not keeping up. Um, but we're going to talk about some of the main changes that were introduced. A shield cap of 100 or what, 100 million, 1 million, but 2 million can be reached by using the set. Trundus skill slightly changed to make her less OP, but not very effective because she's still queen. Serpents will now give head. I will. So, oh, sorry. Serpents will now. <laughs> Serpents will now give 100% damage. Serpents will now give head. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't, bro. What? Serpents will now give 100% damage reduction to newly grown heads. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I said serpents will now give head. <laughs> Decapitated heads now have a uh, HP bar of double their normal HP. Digestion, digestion balls will increase in amount of damage needed to release the champion after a certain point. If your run is long enough, you will have a 0% chance of releasing the champion, and that's really annoying. Taunt, the buff which was originally introduced to mean a champion can't be swallowed whilst Taunt is active, no longer works that way. Was that... I never really used Taunt in Hydra, but was this, was this true? Is this true? Did they introduce the Taunt buff and tell us that we could use it to make sure that we don't get swallowed. No ditty. Uh, swallowing and digestion will occur regardless of whether or not the taunt, uh, taunt is up. If you're using ally attack or multi-hit skills on a decapitated head, you get the head HP to zero. The skill will stop immediately and no more damage will be dealt. Prior to this, overflow of damage was allowed and seen as normal, but now the skill will immediately stop, uh, will immediately stop when an HP reaches zero. I believe those are the most uh, major HP or um, Hydra CB changes from the last month. Do correct me if I'm wrong. And I just want to let you guys know that I haven't really been too active on my raid accounts. In fact, I'm moving um, two of my big accounts to like a really small clan where they don't require me to do Hydra because I'm not going to be doing Hydra anymore. I'm, I'm just, that's the that's the best I could do. I already don't spend. The, the next best thing I can do other than informing everybody with the platform that I have here on YouTube um, is to just not engage with the content. So that metric is reflected on their side of thing, on, on the developer's sides of things. So they can see, okay, well, people just stopped playing Hydra, which obviously is not the case because people like me aren't going to make up the majority and people like me aren't going to make up the majority of the people that they care about, which is going to be the Krakens. The Krakens are always going to, and I'm not like throwing shade at the Krakens, you know, it's in their nature. They're doing what they're doing. Polarium's doing what they're doing in their nature as well. You know, they're going to continue to do what they're going to do, but I'm going to do my part. At least I feel good about doing something about it. I don't want to be one of those guys that complains about it and then still engages in that content. I'm fucking sick of it. Not, you know, that specific thing, but I'm fucking sick of, of Hydra and all this, this you know, bullcrap they're, they're doing. Oh God, I just... <coughs> I was breathing and then I was swallowing at the same time. Pause, no ditty. Hello! So, after this last month, I saw dozens of videos of content creators saying Polarium is killing the game! But the reality didn't hit until now. I got notice in our Discord that half of my clan is quitting or selling their accounts, which officially you should not do. After this last Hydra change, this is insane. We have players that are in this clan since the start of the game. For context, I've been playing since 2019 of July, before Foley, uh, the Foley Fusion started. I've been addicted to Raid. I've been in love with Raid. I've been passionate about Raid. I started making YouTube videos on Raid because I was passionate about it. I was even more so passionate about the fact that I had grown a community. And now, in this moment, I don't feel motivated to make content for Raid. But I'm still here. I'm still going to stay here. Because I feel like I, I grew this community. And... I feel like I still owe it to you guys to do my part and at least make content where we can at least talk to each other, right? Where we can at least go back and forth in, in the comment section, right? I owe you guys at least that, right? I, 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 I got your guys' trust and loyalty and you're here now and I still want to keep that. I still want to maintain that. Besides Raid, I still do enjoy making YouTube videos. So there's that. 
And I'm still going to be here making YouTube videos, whether it's, you know, continuing to do Raid or other mobile games like King Arthur, Godforge for sure in the future. So we have players, uh, a clan where everybody plays every day. And we have a huge Discord participate, part to pet. <laughs> Look at this. Partipation. Partipation. I've been with. Uh, it's, it, maybe English is not his first language. I'm not making fun of him, but anytime I see it, I, I, I always point it out. Uh, uh, this needs an apostrophe as well. So I've been with this guy's over. Okay. So he's been in there for a while. Our players loved Hydra. Now it's a horrible, boring chore, and players just gave up. Yeah, exactly. I'm giving up too on Hydra. Last few months of horrible decisions and greedy acts of Polarium. Yeah. And um, Sam Solstice actually came out with a really good video. Uh, and I think you guys should go uh, watch it. It gives a lot of information as to... It gives like the too long didn't watch version, like the quick version. It's, it's compressed into a smaller time frame, but it sends the hard hitting message that basically fills you in on everything. I'm going to link it down below in the comment section uh, because it's a really good video to watch. It's like a minute or two minutes, but you're going to get the idea in case you don't know what's going on, right? If you're new. Um, but yeah, Sam Solstice has got it. Good. Got it. Get it. Good. All right. I think Hydra is the straw that broke the camel's back. It's an accumulation of repeated issues. Most players feel like Polarium screw them over for profit and the community's feedback is largely, are largely, is are largely, what the fuck is this guys? Feedback is are largely ignored. Is it worth investing so much time into these contents? And let's say there's no period here. And I, okay. And building teams with an unknown future of getting screwed over. Yeah, I'm not playing long enough to say if these changes are good or bad. I barely won Key Brutal, but the facts are, before the changes, our clan barely took third place, sometimes losing to clans with one player. Since the changes, we won first place three times. And you know, this is okay. This is okay to see. This is okay for him to voice because there's always gonna, going to be different perspectives from people at different points in their account level, right? So I have uh, the mindset or the experience or the perspective of a six-year player who's, you know, balls deep in to raid Shadow Legends. No diddy. Pause. Polarium to Prideful. Oh. <sighs> two has, if he means it, Polarium to T-O-O. -O. It should be T-O-O. -O, too Prideful to admit they were wrong and revert. Keep Trunda shield turn limit changes and revert everything else. Hydra and now the live arena advanced quests combined are driving people away from what I've seen. And you know what? I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you leave, I will be sad about it, but I understand. I don't want the community to leave. I want to keep us together, but I get it. And I encourage you to do so. Because it would be literally insane. You would have to be crazy. To take all of these, uh, to take all of this abuse and all of these blows from Polarium and still stay, it's it's. <laughs> I suspect the live arena complainers are most, are almost all not whales. So Polarium doesn't care about that. Yeah, he's not wrong. They had to do an analysis uh, analysis of spending versus amount of live arena play. Note, I am not defending their decision. It's a good thing he you know said that because you know people come for the throat. No diddy. Um, I'm not defending their decision, but I think we knew exactly the response in advance. Hydra is their big screw up. It affects spenders and non-spenders alike. Even the people who aren't quitting are demotivated on Hydra. Exactly. This is the answer. If you're not quitting, you're demotivated. Polarium is beating us down, kicking our shit in. Oh, sorry, pushing our shit in, kicking our teeth in. You give them too much credit for noticing that they're wrong. They only care about extracting profits, not building a game. Yes, sir. They weren't wrong. They did exactly what they intended to. Cut down on the rewards people that weren't spending were getting. I helped run the raid section of a decent sized cluster. I can tell you what I've seen. Two of the best Hydra Theory crafters. Two of the best Hydra Theory crafters in the cluster have totally lost interest in the game mode. Do you know how into the game? you have to be to earn the title of a Hydra theory crafter. That's not like a small feat, right? <laughs> feat. 
Uh, <laughs> feet. I don't, I'm stupid. Why did I think that was funny? I thought feet immediately. Anyway, all of the people who are quote unquote gurus in raid have left. I don't see them playing raid anymore. And when one person leaves, it's this, this mass of people leaving, right? And then to be a, a Hydra theory crafter is fun. It's not like the, the craziest thing to do. It's not an entry level position. You'd have to be playing for a while and you have to have your, your toes in the sand to be able to uh, like give advice and Hydra theory craft, right? So for them to lose interest in the game is huge, right? Because this is one of the things that I loved about Hydra still, like I complained so much. Theory crafting for Hydra was really fun for me. Three to five people have moved out of clans where you have to do Hydra to clans where you don't have to. Exactly, me. A couple after the first round of changes, a couple since the latest one, once quit the game entirely as a result of the changes, like the straw that broke the camel's back, but still, almost everybody in that clan takes Hydra Clash seriously or semi-seriously hates it. I'll still do Hydra, but I'm, deliber but, 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 but I'm deliberately doing one key damage only this week, and every week until they change it, if that's until I quit the game entirely, so be it. I think Polarium is going to see that people are still at least doing one keys and at least getting the, the, the minimal chest to at least get rewards. And they're going to say, oh, you know, they're still doing it. That's what they're That's what they're going to do. That's why I'm moving to a clan that doesn't require Hydra. I want them to see that there are people not participating in this anymore, right? I don't want to feed into that algorithm that, or the, the statistics that they have where they say, oh, people are still playing Raid, or people are still playing Hydra, so we can continue this bullshit that we've got going on with Hydra. My clan is split on the issue. A couple of heavy hitters have redone their teams. Why? Because they're just gonna fucking nerf it again. I don't know, maybe. I just redid my Hydra shit, and then they fucking remixed it again. Oh, Whiskey Jack, that's a good name. Uh, fought to keep doing 400 to 500 million on Brutal and Nightmare. The rest of us have given up. The rest of us has given up, have given up. I don't mind a treadmill when it feels like I'm progressing, but this series of nerfs has been a blatant rug pull that shows me my gains aren't mine. They are Polarium's currency to spend however they wish. This is a beautiful statement right here, right? They have us on a treadmill with a carrot and every time we touch the fucking carrot, they've got the stick. The carrot and the stick. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Let's keep going. This is the insane part. How can Hydra Clash mean this much to people? Yeah, how can it mean this much to people? But I don't know. You know, people are into the games. People are into games, right? I don't mind. I'm not trying to say like, oh, don't be into whatever it is that you want to be into. But at some point, you have to sit and wonder, like, even if even if you stay away from the drama, you, you have to hear about the drama, right? It's, it's talked about all over in this community. So it's just like, if you're not doing something about it, you're part of the problem. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. It's the same as somebody getting jumped on the street and you're just standing there watching it happen. Without bystander intervention, you're just as bad as the people doing the jumping. You could go the rest of your life without winning a Hydra Clash and it wouldn't matter at all. I played daily the last four years. This right here. Anything you do in a game is not gonna matter when you're on your deathbed. Are you really gonna care when you're lying on your deathbed with your loved ones around you? Hopefully you have loved ones around you. Are you gonna be there sitting, oh, oh you know, hit, hit the clan or hit Hydra. Uh, I, I was top of my clan in Raid Shadow Legends. Ugh. For me, it's not just the Hydra changes. Those definitely hurt because they killed any interest I had in trying to grow in that mode. Before changes, I was one king, uh, earning the 1.2 billion chest, using my own comps. Took me months of work, months of work to build out those 18 champs to farm live arena for Hydra arena bonuses. After the first set of changes, I still do one key, but it takes me two weeks to earn the 1.2 billion, so now I'm fine with that being my norm. I don't have retry keys over and over. I save time, find myself not playing as much. Additionally, current dungeons aren't worth the time to farm, Gear sets aren't useful. That's kind of true. I think, especially with the introduction of lethal, and I would even argue lethal's going out of uh, commission now because of merciless gear. Savage isn't really that important. I think the only two sets that I really go out of my way for, if I felt like farming, which I haven't done in a long time, is regen and cursed gear. Though that's pretty much it. 
Return on investment and time and energy isn't there. I don't find myself running auto battles overnight anywhere near as often. I'm late game, have plenty of time to play, but after I hit Iron Twins, DT, CC, and uh, finish my dailies, there's nothing else for me to do other than refresh arena. Yeah, if you even finish your, your advanced quest, I don't, I don't even do it. I'm getting bored. Haven't been spending. I started playing a new account. Player, the answer was to add new content for end game. Nerfing performance on Hydro was the worst decision you could have made to keep end gamers happy and engaged. And, you know, another question begs, who are they doing this for? Who's Polarium making these changes for, right? Because I think about, like, AAA games. Like, let's, it, I don't know if you guys are aware, but games like Hogwarts Legacy or freaking, um, it just came out, Dragon Age, Dragon Age Veilguard. I didn't play those games, but I was watching people talk about it, and a lot of them are saying that... Um, they're not enjoying the games because it's not respecting the source material and it's pushing the woke agenda, quote unquote. Their words, not mine. And the issue that they have with this that I can understand is when game developers listen to these people modify the game to fit their agenda, they're not selling or they're not creating a game. They're not creating content for the people that got those developers there in the first place, right? Dragon Age Origins was a phenomenal game that I played back in my high school uh, years. And you know, I played Dragon Age 2 and 3, but this Dragon Age Veilguard doesn't really look like anything. It doesn't look like the original game, basically. It's the same thing as me making content for an entirely different genre. Like, I'm, I'm doing mobile games, I'm doing Raid Shadow Legends mainly, but I'm going to start doing other games in the mobile game, you know, uh, stuff. But like, let's just say I started doing, I don't know, freaking video essays on uh, coffee. Y you know what I mean? Nobody's going to want to watch that. That's not why you guys are here. So when game developers start doing shit for people that aren't playing the game, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. There is no reason for Polarium to be making changes that don't benefit or that aren't for the players. It doesn't make sense. So like, that's that's my question to you guys because I don't know the answer, right? Who are they making these changes for? I understand there's a lot of free to player or there's a lot of people. I understand the Wixwell thing, right? I, I understand the the Wixwell Trenda thing to, to, a, to a certain like surface level, right? Because I, I understand people feeling like it's not fair to go up against certain clans or certain people, but I don't know, it's, it's a thought that just came into my head. Now, I, I'm not properly articulating what I'm saying. I have I need to think about it more, but maybe you guys can uh, help me finish my thought here, right? Because I'm, I'm having trouble thinking about it on the spot as I'm recording this. But I'm thinking like, who is, who is the main player base of Raid and who is Polarium making these changes for? Because if Polarium isn't making changes and making improvements to the game that are for the representatives of the main player base of raid then there's an issue there then you get situations like this where people are giving away their mythical accounts and you know what i mean <laughs> quitting raid hopefully they see i've not been logged in as near as many hours hopefully they see in a lot of account stats Hopefully they see less spending. With any luck, they're going to course correct and fix their approach. Give me a reason to continue to engage with the game before I find something new to occupy my time and attention. Exactly. Even whales and krakens in the comment sections, in my comment sections, have been telling me that they're quitting, that they're fed up, that they're spending, that they have spent five figures, that they were spending so much money on a monthly basis, but now even they're burned out. Even they can't take the shit. This guy says I'm pretty neutral on the changes. So the issue I have with neutrality is like, I feel like it's a double-edged sword. I haven't thought about it too much, but as I've, think, as I've thought about the situation, I've thought of people who are neutral being, like it's a double-edged sword, uh, sword in the sense that if you choose to do nothing, then you're also part of the problem. But I also get trying to stay out of things right? Because I myself would prefer to stay out of situations so that I can just, you know, be safe with my wife at home because I love my wife. 
But at the same time, something like this, if you can do something about it, I feel like you should do something about it. But again, I I've never been one to tell you guys how to play the game. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Hydra is one of the modes, uh, how it kills live arena or siege. It's just whales rumbling their OP teams. Got nerfed a bit. They can't win the, win the whole competition with one hit and one billion damage. But I don't think it's just the whales free to play two whales free to play two krakens the entire player base isn't happy right free to players new players and end gamers are all leaving and playing less right that's the sentiment that's the community sentiment that i'm seeing the last nerf involving ally attack was the final straw i'm doing minimums on hydra now for max chest cutting off all spending cut off all spending players made it clear that profit mode is more important than anything else they seem to be completely oblivious to what they're doing to the player base and i doubt it will ever change i personally think it's going to get worse i don't know how i i don't know how but polarium always seems to find a way to make it worse My buffet, lucky me fuck you think. I got a couple of mentions, still I don't have it.